so glad to have you all here. Your heart starts pumping, interacting with the passionate fan base. <laughs> now now the good. pressure's on. The Batmobile is no joke. You are so good looking. It's a completely different experience. I'm dropping the mic. DC Fandom, explore the multiverse. Free for everyone, 24 hours only. All fans welcome. September 12th, only at DCFandom.com. DC Fandom was an amazing event that offered a lot of first looks, reveals, and trailers for movies and projects that they have been working on that we are excited about and can't wait to finally watch in theaters. Now we have a part two coming September 12th, and the trailer we saw that was released today definitely has us excited for more. So we'll talk about what you can expect to see September 12th at DC Fandom Part 2. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, it's Chris, and if you love to stay up to date on all major movie and television news, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, we're covering it here on the channel. And for live updates, you can follow me on Twitter at TheCultureChris, link is in the description below. So for starters, let's talk about what DC Fandom Part 2 is. Originally, DC Fandom was going to be a one-day, 24-hour event where they did everything in one go. But I think that proved to the end to be a little bit overwhelming as they decided last minute to separate the event and have the one event that we had already where they talked about big hit movies and they did DC Hall of Heroes. Well, DC Hall of Heroes was going to be one of several different island locations during DC Fandom event where we were going to be able to virtually navigate our way around and participate in a Comic Con of sorts. But there aren't many people who are going to have the time or the ability to sit there for literally 24 hours and navigate around multiple different islands, gathering all of the information, easter eggs, clues, merchandise, and more that they were going to have available for this DC Fandom event. So, two days before DC Fandom, they made a change. They only gave us Hall of Heroes, which is what we saw during the DC Fandom event that we already had, and they separated the more Comic-Con side of it and the virtual tour side of it, where you go in with an avatar, you're able to navigate where you go and what you see while panels are happening during a 24-hour period. So, that is going to be happening September 12th. And of course, this trailer was released on DC's official Twitter page where it says, Explore the far corners of the DC multiverse. Take your love of DC to the next level for 24 hours, beginning 9-12. All fans welcome. So DC Fandom Part 2, all fans welcome. 24-hour event. Again, it will be an exclusive event. And you have to get in there and experience it for yourself. It's a Comic-Con style where you'll have an avatar and you'll be roaming around looking at the panels that you're interested in. What exactly is the content that they will be having during this? I'm pretty sure DC gave us everything in the last event. We had so many first looks, reveals, and new information come to us. Well, there's more. And an official statement says, The 24-hour event allows fans to create and control their own viewing experience from 100-plus hours of on-demand content from over 300 panels and videos. The virtual event will feature over 500 actors, creators, artists, and writers from around the globe. And this includes exclusive behind the scene content from TV and film. It will be divided into multiple separate islands, including Watchverse, Insiderverse, Blurred and Bougie, Uverse, and Kidsverse. And each of these islands will be fighting these 300 different panels, and from the sound of it, it is as you go, you can interact with it yourself. There isn't really a set schedule for most of these panels. They're going to be pre-recorded, and you can go to wherever you'd like during your little adventure and interact with these things. So, a real-life Comic-Con in a virtual sense. So, Comic-Con from home for DC exclusively, and they have tons and tons of content to share with us. So, that's extremely, extremely exciting. It was confirmed that they had over 22 million active viewers during the first DC Fandom event, which exceeds the expectations they originally had. 
and there's a lot more for DC to do still. So this is a huge turning point for DC fans. I hope you're excited. I know I am. I can't wait to see how all of these projects finally turn out and what their plan is for the multiverse moving forward and combining all of these different universes that they set up together to create one cohesive DC universe. They have a lot of plans. They have a direction now, which in my opinion is one of the only things they have been missing is really what is their exact plan. And potentially they had this plan the whole time and now it's coming together. So as a DC fan, as a comic book hero fan, I'm very excited for the future. This trailer has me excited and pumped up for the second part of DC fandom. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Is there anything in particular you'd like to see at this second event? And what are your expectations for it as you get your avatar into this virtual Comic-Con? Thank you guys so much for watching until the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, entertaining, whatever it be, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button as we're covering all major movie and television news right here on the channel. You can also check me out on Twitter at TheCultureChris and the link is in the description down below. Thank you guys. Have a good day.